How are you doing today? I'm doing everything I can. Thank you. Okay, this is, a, this is the first time you uh, host the Goldman Prize? Yes, it is. I'm very honored to be here. Uh, what do you think, what's your impression of the, this year's winners? Well, you know, I haven't yet studied the history of this year's winners. I've studied all the past winners. But it's a, to acknowledge these people for the acts of personal courage and integrity they've made is one of the few opportunities to give them global publicity and to focus attention on their struggle, which they're really doing on behalf of all of us. Well, Cambodia has gone through uh, many years of civil war and it's recovering, it's building the country now. Elephants are dying, but now there's an effort of, by this man uh, who will win tonight. Uh, he represents Asia. Uh, how important is it to preserve elephants? Well, you know, elephants, whales, tigers, pandas, little tiny newts, they're all pieces of the world that God gave us. And the world is like a jigsaw puzzle. And when you take a piece out, it doesn't come back. There's an empty space there, and everything has to adjust. So I'm thankful for his efforts, and I'm thankful for the efforts of people like him all over the world that are struggling to remind everyone that there are more important things in business, that we have a world we have to take care of, and that world is made up of other species just like us that have an equal right to be here, and we have to leave them space and water and land and the resources that they need. Have you been to Cambodia? I've not been to Cambodia. No. I would like to go. I mean, you know, the last I remembered of Cambodia was the trials of Pol Pot and all the struggles when I was young during the Vietnam War. So I would very much like to see that part of the world and how it's rebuilt itself. Any word to the Cambodian people? Well, as one Buddhist to another, I salute you. <laughs>